it's funny how the store-bought plants are nowhere near as tall as the plants that I grew from a seed. Huh. Like here. These are all seeds. And they're just growing by leaps and bounds. And these are seeds. Goodness. <laughs> I'm out of breath. You know what's wrong with the world today? You got too many people telling you you can't do something. Well, by God, I'll do any damn thing I want to do. That's all I got to say about that. The dirt that I'm getting right here is the stuff that I'm digging out from behind the trailer. You know where I'm trying to make that path along the trailer. I want to add it, some leaves to it. I'm putting this dirt on top of the leaves. And um, yeah, I know it's not gonna be perfect dirt. There's a lot of grass in it from where I've been digging and doing a bunch of stuff. It's just got a bunch of junk in it, but we'll see how it does this year. I might be pulling a lot of weeds, but if it can make me some corn and some tomatoes, I'll be happy. I had a neighbor come down, it was nice enough to bring me two scoops of dirt. Not big scoops, you know, it's a compact tractor. But yeah, I traded him some tomato plants for two scoops of dirt, and they brought me this fencing here, which I was going to buy some of that today anyway. To, I'm going to set a T-post right here and come out and run it to the telephone pole to keep number one enemy out of here, Jamie. <laughs> this is nice, soft, cool dirt. She'll be in it quicker than you can shake a stick at Hey, this ain't for you. No, you don't go in there. You don't go in that dirt. That's not Jamie dirt. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see you looking at it. You don't go in there. It's not for you. Yeah. Yeah. There. What are you doing? Ooh. You're riding. Yeah. It's June 2nd, and I'm still screwing around, trying to get stuff planted. Story of my life, always late. So, um, I don't know if I showed you all this, but I did get my little trench next to the trailer. I got it done. Still doing my hand tilling. I got something down there planted. I don't know what these are. I mean, it could be zucchini. It could be cucumber. It could be pumpkin. It could be butternut squash. I mean, I had so many seeds in that in that bucket, but I put these two out here, and I got two more out front that I'll show you. But here's something I don't see a lot, which I don't think I've ever come across. A butterfly. He was laying down, just like that on the ground in the garden over there by my shovel, and I picked him up, and he had a whole lot of ants crawling out of him, or crawling off of him. I've never known a butterfly just to kindly lay down but yeah that's him he's a pretty thing I think I'm gonna keep him I ain't gonna let him sit out here I'll find some place to put him it's June the 6th and I think I've finally got everything in the ground that I really wanted to so here's what I got Okay, here's two additions. I've got a red bell pepper. This is a sweet pepper and a hot banana pepper. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, this had my tomatoes in it, and I gave these plants to a neighbor, which I think I'll talk about later down the video. But they brought me a couple of scoops of dirt, which was cool. Okay, what you don't see in here is I went ahead and sown a whole packet of variety lettuce. 
So I can't grow it inside in a container because it always dies. So let's see if I can get it to do anything here. I'm really not counting these peas to be, you know, much count because the soil just constantly stays too dry. And I'm having to water it every day. And they've been shocked to the point to where they just won't get any taller. So, you know, I, I might let them stretch out a little bit longer and see if I can't get a few more peas out of them. But they're probably going to come out of here and I'm going to plant more lettuce or something like that that grows really quick. Here's my bucket of beets right here. You know, I didn't know that the greens were edible. If I would have known this, I'd been, you know, cutting them every couple, maybe once a week or something like that, and eating them in a salad. But since I, I just now kind of learned this, I just decided to let them sit in the buckets and see what they do. So they're really kind of not doing a whole lot. And here's my homemade <laughs> garden number one. Now, forgive my barrel here. That's just to keep Jamie out of here and then you see i got the t-posts up and the same neighbor gave me some fencing so that keeps her out of here which is good so i've got nine plants well technically i got 13. i had some tomato transplants that just did not grow in those in the other metal container so i was thinking maybe it was a soil issue and if you look right there that's this is going to be four and I can already tell they're getting taller just by being in this dirt. So whatever was in that compost in that metal container just did not have any gas for the tomatoes. So, but I can already tell they're getting bigger. So that's cool. So I'll technically I'll have two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 tomato plants, which is cool. You can see my corn over here. This is the side where I had to bring in all the dirt from the other side of the trailer. Put it on top of the ground here, which I, you know, did the leaves and everything to give it a little bit more, I guess, compost. Um, and then planted the rows about every six to eight inches. And I can't really tell if they're doing a whole lot. They look like they might be getting a little bit taller. The color might be looking like it's getting a little bit greener because it was awful light in the containers. And I did buy some miracle Grow that was 24% um, percent nitrogen, which corn loves nitrogen. So I gave them a good drink and we'll see see what happens also gave everything else i've got out here a good drink all around the house so hopefully they're thankful now these right here i don't know what they are <laughs> just like every other plant you know that looks similar to this other than the watermelons i really i'm just kind of anxious to see what these are they could be butternut squash they could be zucchini they could be cucumbers um pumpkins I mean, I've, I put so much in that junk bucket, I just don't have a clue what it is. Now over here, we're back to my strawberries, which I can tell they're getting taller. They're getting fuller, and they're starting to get some runners on them. Look at this little dude. and Get on after it, man. Go make some strawberries. You see a little baby strawberry there? That's the only bloom, I think. Well, I might have had one other one. But, um... Uh, yeah, I really hope these strawberries come alive later, more into July, and just crank out the strawberries because I love strawberries. In here, I bought some uh, a set of Jubilee watermelons. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to separate them, but they just look so healthy. I didn't want to separate them, so I just put two per mound. I got one here, one here, one here, one here, and two more on the other side of the trailer. And I'm hoping these guys really do well too because i'll train them just to go out in the grass and do the watermelon thing and here is where it all started you can see my cauliflower i about stepped off a little abyss there and broke my neck <laughs> but uh you can see my cauliflower here it seems like it's getting bigger it's doing good i don't see any signs of uh well yeah i do i was gonna say critters you can see right here but i did put some seven dust on these probably three or four days ago so hopefully that'll help it out and this little tomato this is a store-bought tomato and i think it's the hillbilly variety they're not getting real tall but i can already see he's got something going on and then here's the big daddy this is one i grew from seed this makes me really happy i'm like this is so cool i've actually grew a tomato plant from seed and it's looking great so is this dude and that dude and there's two more that i bought now that's another one of the hillbillies but he's getting bigger he's looking pretty good everything looks good i need to get some leaf mulch and put down here underneath of them 
kind of keep the splash back off of the stem and I don't know what this guy is but he was <laughs> he's another another just strange seed and I got him so everything's looking good I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results so far now here are the two mounds that I started to do the three sisters method where you plant your five ears of corn or four ears of corn and then once the corn gets knee high then you go through and you put in your pole beans and your squash which I'm trying to wait to see if these actually get knee high first and then I'll start the other stuff now here's the dark side of the trailer this is my little pea experiment over here and these look a whole lot more healthier than the ones out front they don't have any dead spots towards the base they're just kicking right along and what I should have done is get a section of fencing, like that hog fencing or a lattice and made a trellis. And that way they just grow up beside the trailer. But, you know, I haven't done it. Now, when these are gone and I get the little peas off that I can, I'm going to go ahead and get some lattice. And I'm going to put lattice up this whole length of the trailer, probably down to the AC unit. And use this as just my dedicated pea spot. And uh, I think I get a pretty good late or a fall harvest of peas here now here's my rock garden that y'all have seen me constantly dig and pull these big old rocks out like all these rocks over here that you see in the weeds these are for me i pulled every one of these dumb things out and threw them up here you talk about a pain in the butt but i think the soil here is good i've got three rows of the store-bought corn you know the starters and i mean they're really not I'm not seeing anything out of them that makes me, it encourages me any. I mean, they're kind of wilted. We did get a lot of rain though, but you know, it is what it is. Got three mounds here of cucumbers and butternut squash. One here, one here, one here. I've got two, see, I got three rows actually right here. And this, this is peaches and cream corn that I plant by seed. This one here, the experiment is I just roughed up just the basic dirt. I didn't tilled it under with my shovel and I planted this whole row this one right here I tilled it with my shovel made the dirt really nice and and um, soft and then I put in some compost that I had it was like a compost and topsoil mix down and then I put seeds on top of that then I covered it and what I've got over here is I planted three rows there's another one of those abysses that I keep stepping in there are two or three rows here of Kentucky pole beans that I put right here and once they start getting a little bit of size to them I'll come through here and put some t-posts and some of that fence section that I've got and let them grow and hopefully they'll get nice and big and strong and here again I don't know what these are hopefully there'll be something good <laughs> and then I've got two more of the Jubilee watermelon plants I put on this side of the trailer so like I said, it's just a, a vast experiment to see what might do good where and different types of soil. And that way next year when I undergo this whole process again and get a lot bigger, I'll have a lot more knowledge. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. I've got some new merch for the new channel or channel name, Manufactured Homesteader. So check out the links below in the description. And check out some of my other videos on the playlist, the mobile home repairs and all that other stuff i'd really appreciate it and i'll see you guys later